That's a beer. All right. Wanted to do a quick overview of a pretty cool night out last night, I have to say. Um, I managed to acquire some lovely citrusy IPAs. I'm, I've got a big thing about citrusy, orangey, tangerine uh, IPAs. Hops that have like been hardcore engineered to push them to taste a little bit like orangey. Uh, the first one I had was this Innocent Gun one, which um, is Tropic Like It's Hot Passion Fruit Pale Ale. This was actually a replacement. I can't really see with the reflection of the lights. This was a re replacement uh, because it, they didn't uh, have the black milk one that I wanted. This was actually pretty good. I've had Innocent Gun um, beer before, and they make some interesting craft beer. This seems like a brand new direction for them, 4.4%. Uh, I uh, didn't really taste the passion fruit in it, but it was nice and citrusy. And uh, that one was a pale. So that was a slightly different from it. They're kind of known for their pale ales. Uh, but they were kind of pushing it on the passion fruit. It tasted citrusy of sorts, so I see where they're going with it. And they're obviously trying to get behind those citrus because a lot of people are eat, drinking citrus. It seems to be citrus and sours. I'm not really into the sours. But um, next one I had was this one. I was very interested in this one from Fuel for Pure, which is a London-based company. At first, I thought it was a California company because there's a lot of spiel about California um, ba, 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 oranges on it. And um, this one's called the Juice Box. Juice, Juice Box. It's got a lovely design. You know that paperwork that's kind of like, um, I don't know, it's like a matte kind of, it's got a texture thing, right? It's just, it, it's got a nice texture to it, which I really like. Brewed in Camden, London. Fuel Pour Brewing Co. 8.3% this bad boy. And um, I really like the size of the can. I like the fact that it's like a double. And that was strong. That was actually strong. Gave me a nice hit. I reckon two or three of these and that would be enough for me. I'm not a massive big drinker, but I did enjoy that. It's definitely like barbecue weather beer. Next up was the Brooklyn Attempt. Uh, I like Brooklyn beer. Like, if you want to be... Um, it's probably not hipster enough now to like Brooklyn beer, but it was at, at one point. Uh, this is their kind of citrusy orange pale ale, and I liked it. I like the taste of it. Um, I'm not really interested in in citrus um, oranges being like pales. I kind of like the IPAs, direct IPAs. I think the best one out of the lot came last, and I would definitely have this one again. These guys have been like knocking it out of the park for years now. Brewdog. They have one called the Clockwork Tangerine, and fuck me. Like, this is a Citrus Session IPA, 4.5%, and they really push the hops on this, for it, to, and it really tastes like tangerine. Like, you can see that they, they managed to squeeze out that flavor nodule out of the hops. Um, really, really enjoyed this. If you can pick this up somewhere, uh, do grab yourself a couple of bottles of this. I guarantee you will enjoy this. And that's kind of my little, my little beer session. So today... It's back onto this coffee, water, and good intentions. Let's get it. Drifting slow. 